creating sort of a dashboard that has multiple views. And so one of the views is in the image there, and then the population in the comment section, you list out um, what the different views might be. Um, so I guess I can get it off and you all can take over. We just talked about creating a sort of a dashboard for funders and service providers and policy makers um, that would be built from various data sets, national, state, and um, complete people institute some sort of annual reporting tool where community collectives could um, upload or provide data every year on the services they're providing and the number of vets they're servicing um, according to a common set of indicators. Um, and then this dashboard would allow them to explore that data both of themselves but compared to other populations across the country. So I will turn it over to my colleagues. Yeah, I think um, there's some good examples of this posting on there. I think the other area that we talked about is how to fill in some of the uh, challenging gaps in data and whether, whether some combination of surveying and doing predictive models based on surveys to sort of do look like models fill in data gaps would work very well, or if, if we need to have a more structured process for gathering data out of the service providers that we discussed sort of in one of the other groups. Um, and trade-offs, pros and cons of that, um, but whether it's worth going directly to veterans and asking them what they need, and then visualizing those needs and, and sort of. So what is A, B, and C doing? Oh, so in that image, we've got, you know, one view might be sort of an unmet need index. So say you have a view that allows you to identify sort of key areas where services are provider, provided. So maybe there's employment services, health services, mental health. We didn't really belabor what those categories might be. But then the, the, the circles would represent a composite indicator of what percentage of veterans in that particular population are having those needs met in that area. And so A, B, and C represent localities. So locality A, um, we would see that of those veterans there, they need, um, they've identified, the communities that are identified, they need employment services, they need health services and mental health. They, they have employment covered, health is covered, but there's the, only about half the population is getting their mental health services covered. Um, population B, they don't have an employment issue, but there's a lot of health needs um, that aren't being met at all, but mental health services are very well um, attended to. And community C, um, the big issue for them is employment, and about a quarter of their vets need um, employment services. And we thought you might be able to filter this site sort of dashboard by socio-demographic characteristics. For instance, if there's a funder that really wants to target um, women, women vets, they'd be able to filter it and to say what are the needs of women across the country. And then you could also filter or sort by community so you could sort of benchmark yourself against other communities that are like you and say, okay, we're really struggling with mental health, who are the communities that are doing a good job there, so maybe I can learn from them. Do <coughs> you guys want to talk about the other, the other one? We do, and we just had one other um, visualization that we brainstormed. I uh, didn't get to do much on it, but the idea was similar to Moby's in a way, and, it, and very similar to the food desert concept, uh, pretty much mapping out by county or community, the services provided, the veteran density, and then being able to provide on the side as a dashboard uh, average distance to your provider or ca capacity in that region and so on. And we, we also, we focus more on finding examples of that to show where it's been done successfully. And the examples we found were uh, from the Daily Beast about um, abortion coverage but also from Oregon in general for, um, and I put this link in the meetup, the um, coverage of psychiatrists uh, in Oregon and the coverage of uh, primary care in Oregon. And pretty much probably every single state has something like that, which could then be uh, meshed together uh, to provide a dashboard of uh, services and distance from it for uh, veterans communities and other communities in general. And it's actually quite depressing to look at the psychiatrist one and see there are counties where there are no effective full-time psychiatrists at all. That unto itself right there, when you say that, I mean, that's the kind of stuff we're looking to uncover and, and say, look, that's, and, and then you add the population piece and the clusterings and you, you really, you, you can start telling a national story, that macro view, the micro work. 
quick side comment. When I was working with the Suicide Prevention Office at the Department of Defense, we actually did measure the effectiveness models and we looked at staffing to see how many chaplains do we have across the services and where are they and we tracked that or how many, you know, psychiatrists are there. Do we all have those slots filled and the government needs to fill and we build tracking models for that. One other comment um, to take this uh, and that needs the next little further. I see that how that kind of jives with um, what the first group presented. But I think when you when you're able to show this data for a locality or for a region, um, you kind of want people to then act on that. If you um, are finding that a lot of these subcategories um, your region is doing poorly in, that could be a way that that you would then be able to identify the places that need more resources. So. In one way, just as sort of like a marketing aspect, you could consider having scorecards for each locality. Um, no region, no congressional district is going to be, want to be on the bottom of that list. Um, so it would be a way for the laggards to incentivize them to do better. And there could be some incentive that if your district improves by X number of points, there would be some recognition associated with that. That last part you said is very interesting. I'll say for quick just comment on that. I, where I went in my head when you first said that was, oh gosh, I can hear the controversy over some sort of standardized um, progress metric because every community is going to start at a different place. But if they're measured on themselves right. versus perhaps, and progress just on themselves, similar to education of children versus a grade level or whatever, that's a, that might be something that would be more palatable for them to contribute to. Sure, because there are going to be a lot of exogenous factors on why the community may be bad. That's not because the people in the facilities um, aren't providing as good a service as they should be. There could be, there may just be other difficulties. And we've already learned that in some state states, transportation or city right. transportation is an issue, but in others, there it's not. So why would we even look at that piece somewhere else? But that's well, that's, that's, that's actually so. This is uh, picking up on the like the O Power story, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the, local success story where uh, they started off there so they try to help people save money by um, getting them to take certain actions to reduce their power bill right and at first they said you know here's the best practices and nobody did anything uh, and then they said um, you know this is how you compare against the national average and nobody really did anything and then they said this is how you compare against your neighbors and everybody did something yeah. Um, so if you show performance relative to peers, neighbors, people that you uh, that you know, that you're answerable to, that you interact with on a regular basis, the psychology is that people will respond. And if all of these ideas in the room were to come together, we would know which communities were your peers. Right now, I yes. think most communities yeah. built wouldn't know who to compare themselves with or, or feel comfortable even thinking about that. Well, you're welcome but to present at one of the quarterly featured events <laughs> that will be held at Chief. Uh, they are sponsoring <laughs> again, so thank you very much, Chief. And we nobody's here from Chief. Um, and, uh, okay, we so. We haven't heard from the mad scientist group. Yes, well, round of applause for this group, too. <laughs>